go. Today we're going to make spirulina bars and this is, this is a recipe that I put together uh, to give you a slow release of all the essential vitamins and minerals that you need from a sweet snack and very easy to make and the good news is that you can just portion it and freeze it and take one out, stick it in your handbag when you're going off somewhere and it'll defrost you by the time you need it mid-morning or mid-afternoon. So what we do is we start off with some wholemeal spelt flour. Now you can use that or you can use a gluten-free flour blend if you want to go gluten-free or you can use normal wholemeal flour if you want to. Okay, I like to use spelt flour because it's easier to digest. And in with that we put there's 150 grams there of the homemade flour and in there we put 150 grams of, of the um, organic porridge oats. Mix that around and into that we add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon is great not only for its flavour but also because it helps to balance out those blood sugars and uh, reduce sugar cravings. Next, of course, is the all-important spirulina. So I use a powder spirulina, organic, good quality, and I use like a teaspoon of that. So that goes in, mix that around. Spirulina is a superfood, very high in magnesium, iron, and lots of those sugar craving values that we want at this time of year especially and also it's a very um, good for energy and for detoxifying the body. Now what I like to put in a selection of chopped up nuts, whatever you have in the cupboard. I've got some Brazil nuts, almonds and hazelnuts there but as I say you can use whatever you want, any combination. I just chop them up a little bit and some uh, organic raisins and a bit of tannas. Even cherries, sour cherries, that kind of thing. All these things work. For more roughage and omegas, putting in a tablespoon of flaxseed, linseed, some people call it that. You can use pumpkin seeds, sunflower seed, chia seeds, whatever you have in the cupboard. That's the great thing about this recipe. Now, so that's basically our dry ingredients. And then we add two tablespoons of agave syrup, another low GI sugar, which you can get in any good health store or even some of the really good supermarkets do it nowadays. And in my old baby bottle, which I find very handy to hold on to because it has all little measures on it, which is great for breaking down little quantities. There is um, 75 mils of organic extra virgin olive oil, or you can, you can use rapeseed oil, avocado oil, any good quality um, polyunsaturated oil is good. Um, and also top that up with 150 mils of um, warm water. The reason it's warm because I think it just mixes everything through a bit easier for you. And then what we do is we just mix everything around. It doesn't take long for it to come together and turn into this leprechaun hued green mix but don't let that turn you off and especially if you're trying to hide these kind of things from the kids it actually doesn't come out green it comes out brown out of the oven so that's that and then i just take my greased square brownie mold here put it all in there You can also put a bit of molasses in there if you want, another sugar source which is very high in vitamins, which are very supportive for the people who are under a lot of stress and hormone balancing 
lots of other good things. Energy release again. This is like a high energy fix with a lot of good things thrown in as well. So it's all good. And if you need to recap on this recipe, you can just go to my website, which is www.tarcanning.ie, and the recipe ingredients are there. And you can have a go yourselves at home. And this is a great family recipe. And enjoy it. No, just flatten it out there. So we just flatten it out. And then all we have to do then is bake that in a moderate oven um, at about 150 degrees for about 45 minutes, depending on your oven. And um, it'll come out kind of a light brown colour. And then you just cool it and then you can just chop it up into whatever portions you want. And as I say, you can freeze some or like they do in our house, they all just disappear as soon as I make them. So happy baking and happy health.